Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode five of my Hot Politics playlist. Um, the reason I put this book that I'm reviewing in Hot Politics because it has a lot to do with politics, especially dealing with the um general um assembly, the North Carolina Congress, um, dealing with the um gerrymandering, especially when it um affects uh poor um residents and African American residents. And make very unfair um, voting laws. Anyway, um, today I'm reviewing Rumor Has It by my girl Sherry Hodges. Hold on. Woo! <laughs> yes, honey. All right. Sherry Hodges is my girl, first of all. I like her writing. I like her style of writing. I love the romance, period. You know what I'm saying? I like her because she has her own. She brings the heat. She could be blunt, but she could be just as subtle as well. It's, it's hot. It's hot. And she sent me an advanced copy of this book back in um January or February. And it comes out April the 28th, 2015. So I'm going to post the link below at Amazon so you can link it. I'm going to also post um her website below as well. And I'm going to also post the um Kensington website as well in the description bar when I'm done. Anyway, romance and politics... I often like those together. You know, those are my favorite things. Sex, of course, is, is is good for everybody. I know a lot of people say, oh, sex is not a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you're having a lot of it, maybe it's not a big deal for you or you're just not an overly sexually person. That's fine. <sighs> sex is fabulous. But anyway, um, basically, you have a man named Jackson Franklin who was a... Um, is a um, a veteran. He served in Iraq and unfortunately because of his injuries it didn't make it made him unable to serve anymore. And then you have a guy named Robert Montgomery who basically is, you know, studied politics for years and they're running against each other. They both say they have the interests of the um, people of North Carolina in their heart and mind. But sometimes with politicians you can't tell. You can't tell um, nothing from them. But anyway then you got my girl Liza um, Palmer. Now, my girl Liza, hmm, Liza is um, Robert Montgomery's like campaign manager, trying to you know help him out on his PR team and stuff. But you know, she's attracted to the enemy who happens to be Jackson. And let me tell you, it is nothing wrong being attracted to Jackson. Child, the way she described describe him in this book had me going. And Lala not a bad catch either. See, if I was straight out, all right, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it G-rated. I'm going to keep it G-rated. But anyway, um, you know, they find an attraction to each other. And, you know, he's attracted to her as well. So, Liza, being a nice person she is, she actually hooks up Robert with her sorority sister, Shantae. You know, they've seen each other in the same show, social scenes in Charlotte. So, you know, it's time they hook up. Um, One night... Shantae catches Robert in another compromising position with another woman. Not Shantae, but another woman. And they basically end their friendship. And Shantae and her ends her friendship for a while. When she shot to confront him, I'm like, yo, I thought you was different. And get yeah, Robert and Liza have been friends since college. So it's like, yo, I thought you was different from other dudes and stuff. But now a lot of things click. And it's like that when a lot of friendships, especially when they end and you notice something wasn't really right with them and you just, the the puzzles start to fit together. So it's kind of like a lot of stuff that he did in his past and a lot of, um, not just stuff that he did in his past, a lot of, um, other hoes, I mean, bras he hooked up with, them hood right hoes that he hooked up with. So it's like it was a pattern. But anyway, um, but Robert has his own issues as well too. Now, um, girl, let me tell y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. For my male viewers, I don't mean to call y'all girl. But child, let me tell y'all. The sex scenes in here is hot. Ooh, Lord. Sharice can write some good sex scenes now. And overall, her writing style of writing is so it's sophisticated. I love it. The drama is just as hot. And I, like I said, I like Sharice as a writer. She's an excellent writer. And I give this book a Jace approved, books, beauty, and stuff approved, and definitely... She's books, beauty, and stuff approved as well. So, um, I would definitely recommend a good romance novel by her as well. Um, so, definitely get this book. I'm def it comes out April the 28th, 2015. And I got, I'm going to put the pre-order link below as well, too. 
Um, anyway, I did put a little bit of um, makeup on today. Not really foundation, because you know I don't do foundation. I put a little bit of eyeshadow on. It was from the Brass and Sass collection from, um, Brass and Sass, um, full shadow palette from the Queen collection, Cover Girl. That's no longer available. Um, in the crease, I put Fig One from MAC. Um, I think I put a, a little, little bit, I think, of Swiss Chocolate in there. I think I did. I forgot if I did not, I did not. Um, on my mascara is the Cover Girl Queen collection in black. I love it. On my um lash line with my waterline combined, I put um Evil Twin um fluid line liner. That's also for Mac. And on my lip glass is is um a dazzle glass called Girls Delight. That's also for Mac as well. Anyway, thank you guys for checking me out on Books Beauty and Stuff. Checking, thanks for supporting me, supporting my authors over the last two and a half years. Just thank you guys so much. Um. Jess definitely pre-ordered this book. It comes out April 28, 2015. And then she has another book in this series, in the Rumor series, um, called I Heard a Rumor. That comes out in November. I don't know the exact date, but it comes out in November of this year. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys later. And talk to you later. Bye.